Hey guys, welcome to another quick video. This is Motion Science and I'm Cameron. And today I'm going to talk very briefly about 3D lights and After Effects. Let's face it, 3D lights and After Effects are not the easiest to control. And so what I'm gonna show you is a trick to easily lighting your scenes. Okay, so let's start by switching into a two view scene. And I'll go up here to layer new light and I'll add a spotlight and I'll keep it to the default settings. And there we go, there's the first light in the scene. I'm gonna pull it back on the Z axis, bring it up, back a little more. And you can see here, this is already the beginning of our problem. It's just difficult to really light a scene in After Effects. The point of interest, the position, it's all kind of a mess. So, so if I bring this light back farther in Z, you can see right here, I'm, I'm already losing the position controls. And from here on out, I'm gonna have to zoom out, find the controls, and it's just kind of a mess. So my solution to this is to add another new camera and this camera I'm gonna call Light View. I'm going to change it to a two node camera and click OK. So in this view, I'll keep it on camera one, but for this view, I will switch to Light View. I'm also gonna turn on the ambient light to fill in the scene. And here's the trick. I'm going to open up the spotlight the transform controls so I can see point of interest and position. And I'm gonna do the same for the light view camera. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to option click or alt click on the point of interest of the spotlight, pick whip it to the point of interest of the light view camera, and then option or alt click on the position of the spotlight, pick whip it to the position of the camera, and I'm going to go ahead and activate my camera control and watch what happens to the light over here. As I move the camera, it controls the light over here. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in. And now you can really see the shadows here. I can even orbit the camera to control the point of interest of the light. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And that's it, it's super easy. So by looking through this light view camera, I'm controlling the point of interest and the position of the light over here to light my scene. And that's it for my tip of the week. I hope you learned something new. Until next time, I'm Cameron, and this is Motion Science.